All right, guys, finally got around to uh, do another spoken video, my doomsday prepper rule number two. And I had to just try to make sure my rule number two don't sound too much like rule number one, but it goes along with rule number one, but only it's... Don't assume just because you have a firearm or whether you have one or have access or don't that cling to that, cling to uh, physical ability, use any, use any and every item or opportunity, everything you do to physically train on every psychological angle, any object that uh, you want to use. Uh, develop abilities as much as you can every opportunity that's self-explanatory in all my fitness videos that don't everybody else's don't look like mine but you want to be able to do uh, a little stretching so you'll be able to walk longer distances uh, oh and I know some uh, Doomsday preppers out there, different ones that wear camouflage and they hunt or whatever. Some of them smoke cigarettes and use tobacco. I'm way into having other things that you can chew, like peppermint, wild mint, uh, dandelions and everything. Uh, I would rather not smoke or use tobacco. You need every single... Your lungs and all your uh, abilities there in breathing make... A huge difference in your ability to move and exercise as well and that's like another thing just really big that seems like very simple it's simple common sense but uh, take care of yourself that way and you're breathing and plus it also dovetails in with having no habits don't go on the bandwagon uh, marijuana thing even though some people use it for medicine I'm not against that People that are sick, yeah, I know all that already. Don't cling to habits, any kind of habits that drain your money and maybe some things that claim to make you feel better, whether cigarettes or marijuana, it does something to your lungs. And, and money-wise, too, if things get financially worse and you got to prepare, I'd rather harvest wild plants that can be eaten and chewed rather than and it's not like people were against, I'm not against anybody that, like I said, Dog the Bounty Hunter's wife that just died, he uh, was talking about how CBD oil helped us. I'm a support of that, but I don't know. There's a part that I don't care a little bit. Some people, that certain kind of marijuana, the smell doesn't bother me. But people that smoke all that other garbage that smells like skunk, I'm not into that. And, and anybody that, like, spray paints, like, shit on there about legalize or whatever that looks that's looks so fucking juvenile uh better off getting a life and growing up i mean i seen under a bridge down here somebody wrote uh eat the rich and all that stuff that sounds like uh degenerate juvenile bullshit people need to grow up some of the people that are like that uh that more juvenile it's almost like antifa and these punks that are doing vandalism uh, you can't have any respect for that. Matter of fact, they won't survive in a hard reality doomsday scenario. They'll get eaten alive. Sometimes I wonder if I might even make it as it is. But my goal is to have advantage over anybody of that nature. Not in, you, you can be friendly to some of them that are moderately that way and try to tell them politely. If they don't get nasty with you about it, tell how your belief on things. Some of them might be okay, but uh, you have an edge over these other people. I mean, if anything collapses, put it that way. I can go on and on about that, but 